Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see welding groove permissible according to ASME section 8, division 1, subsection B, UW9. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. Now, let us start. So, what let us see the structure of UW9, how it is structured. And then we'll talk about each clause in detail. So UW9A talks about what are the permissible types of welds. Okay. UW9B talks about welding grooves. 9C talks about tapered transition. 9D talks about welded intersection, staggering of weld. 9E talks about lap joints. F talks about the closing plate, you know, flathead welded with a shell, tube sheet welded, welded with a shell, how to make that joint. Okay. Great. Welding groups. Okay. So groove means even if I'm making a full penetration weld, you no know, double sided, that is a groove. Okay. So code is pretty clear. Okay. In this code talks about that whenever you are making a groove, ensure that it is full penetration. Code does not talk about what should be your angle of weld, angle of groove, what should be your root, fa root face, root gap. Okay? Code does not give any restrictions or suggestions. Okay, It clearly leaves that on the fabricator that what angle or root gap, root face we want to select. Okay, you can have any kind of wells, but you have to do qualification. Okay, you have to qualify that well beforehand before welding on the job. That is very, very important. So, qualification process is required based on UW28. You know, how to qualify a well that is given in UW28, and we have to follow that to qualify it. Okay, and make sure that it is full penetration other than that no requirement or additional requirement suggestions recommendation restrictions for welding groups okay i hope you understood this part stay tuned for more videos related to welding requirements